this has to be every golfer's worst nightmare. Like literally the worst nightmare. So worried about blading it across the green in a scenario like this, we sort of just then fluff it in front of us. It is literally the worst nightmare. There's only two things you need to be aware of. Now I also realized with chipping, there's loads of different like nuances. And what I mean by that is like wristy little shots, flop shots, but let's make it simple. Let's just give you a go-to shot that you can trust in scenarios just like this. Well, the first thing to be aware of is how this club sits on the ground, okay? It's really important with how the club actually interacts with the turf. So we never wanna see the club sort of in that scenario right here. And that looks very much like that because that is a duff waiting to happen. And the reason is really quite simple. When the club is set up like this, it wants to bury itself into the ground. Like, look at how deep the divot wants to go. And of course, you don't get me wrong, right? You could hit a really good shot, but you're less likely to because you've got to be so, so precise. We want the club to work a little more like this. Now, I know it looks a little open, but I just need you to go from here to somewhere like this, just somewhere there. Because now look with the exact same intention, how the club glides through that sand and digs far less. I mean, look at the depth of that divot compared to this. So you can imagine, you don't have to be absolutely perfect in order to hit a decent chip, right? You don't have to be perfect. So that setup point, the face slightly open, somewhere like this, my hands on the golf ball and my weight a little bit left. We are done and dusted there with that in terms of the first point and the first thing to be aware of. They're quick. That moved so, so much. Wowzers. Let's just collect this golf ball. And I think it's a good time just to remind you that this channel is powered by you, the viewers. So today we're answering all these questions here about chipping which I'm so happy to be helping so many of you. So thank you so much for the support, but I wanna help you too. So if you haven't already, subscribe, turn the bell and be quick, right? I could help you literally next week if you put what you need help with down below in the comments. Okay, let's grab this ball, the final point to this video. And let's just go in this scenario right here. It's about regulating distance as point number two. And people never think about this, but if I hit this shot right here, I've got a position, get in, oh! I've got a position in my mind of how far I've got to take the club back to have momentum. Momentum, not here and try and brush through. Because this, it's game over. Let me explain a little further. And what I mean by this is simply, okay, we want to take the club back and have the feeling that the club drops on the ball. It's a bit like pulling an elastic band back if I want to flick it further, I pull it back more. It's also key to allow the club to drop on the ball. The further you swing back, the more downwards, yes, the more downwards it is on the golf ball. The easier it is to get a slight descending blow and that ball then bruising turf contact. If I try and regulate that distance all from a short backstroke and all on my through stroke, well, my momentum is always usually then very upwards. Now look at this closely, right? If my momentum's always upwards and controlling my distance on the way through, could you sort of see where I could catch the ball halfway and that leads to that bladed shot across the green? Whereas if I take the club a little more up and go the same through, this is where I start to get that strike downwards. Downwards, not this way, not this way. That is so bad. And for me and a lot of my students, it really just makes sense. However far back I go, is how far through I go. I feel as though I have momentum to get that club to drop on the golf ball. I'm not trying to hit up. This would be for any wedge, any standard chip like this, allow the momentum of the club to drop on the ball. This is so key. So how far back you go is how far through you go. And it just makes it so simple. Can you just see how having two simple thoughts in the right area is all you need to fix your chipping this summer? Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. And also don't forget to get your question in so I can help you.